briefing Sri K. Asanba Sangam, convener, talk team, Eastern Nagaland People's Organization. Idia Daike Daike Asan. Ayanya Acha. Ila Achota Atu Tayang Programma Yu Churcha. Ila Aki Kyanadu, a test upon the Masano, the chair Churchano. Respected Chairman, <clears throat> on behalf of EMU, I bring greetings to all the public, elderly people, youth, boys and girls. We bring our love and affection before you. As you all know, Parliament is given powers to Nagaland State Assembly to constitute the formation of village council, tribal council. So out of the 17 tribes, all the tribals are entrusted with constitutional power. As far as Eastern Nagaland people's organization is concerned. This organization is a constitutional resolution passed empowered by the Nagaland Assembly to the village council and the tribal council. From the grassroots, right from the village level, the resolution was necessary because after the formation of the state of Nagaland, when Eastern Nagaland was not part of Indian Union, and when the Naga Hills was already a part of British Empire, 1866, and became a part of Assam as a district, to amalgamate and form the state of Nagaland, this 60 years of journey, we have found that there was nothing happening on the ground. People had high expectation. Right from the beginning, they have formed a regional council for us, but that also chaired by a deputy commissioner, de facto chairman. And then over and above that, we had the 12 MLAs against the 40 MLAs in the assembly. Therefore, right from the beginning, there was some defect. Even the money which was put in, in the constitution, that the money from center shall be distributed equally between the eastern and the areas of Nagaland, that did not happen. And as far as the structure, infrastructure, the employment, per capita income, then uh, B2C, if you look at today, we are far behind others. Therefore, the village council from every tribe resolved that we should demand for a statehood name from the Nagaland territory. However, in the course of time, the ENPO had submitted to the UPA government under Congress in, uh, on 25th November 2010, but nothing was given to us. Somehow they said we will try to modify the regional council, but it didn't happen. Then, in 2012, the BJP party took a decision to tour the Eastern Nagaland area to find out what is the ground reality. The findings of the BJP was almost the same thing which we had reiterated. And on the 14th of April 2012, Mr. Nitin Katri, who was the then president BJP national president, he visited Pensam and Mohan and he declared that the report has been received by him looking at the conditions of the Eastern Nagaland region. You deserve to have the front of Nagaland territory. Therefore, when this, then he said also that we will support your case and even debate on the floor of the parliament. In 2014, 
the UJ, uh, NGA government came again to power with BJP on the top and we initiated for a dialogue and she, uh, Rajtat Singh, who was a union home minister under the Modi government, agreed to have dialogue. We had four rounds of bilateral talk, that means EMU delegations with the government of India officials in the Ministry of Home Affairs. Then after that, whatever we have discussed with the um, government of India, the government of Nagaland officials were called to uh, meet us at Kohima. Then second meeting we had in Delhi, and there was only two small corrections. The literacy rate, uh, uh, the employment rate, and the the literacy, we managed to get that uh, corrected and everything was ready. And finally, the government of India under the Ministry of Home Affairs selected 10 joint secretary level officers to go to Eastern Nagaland and to the various subdivisions to check the ground reality. And they found that whatever we said was almost correct. Therefore, Home Minister called us, Home Secretary called us, and that now, from the official level, they have, they have compiled the file and it's been put up to the Home Minister on the political, for political dialogue. Now, I'll just go through this with uh, points only because there are a lot of speakers. But since I'm here to brief you, I would like to start on the 6th December 2022. Sri Amit Shah, Honorable Union Home Minister, declared. Now, he declared in the sense that the government of India have, I was having problem to give us the statehood, full fledged, the union territory, because they have got 20 odd other states claiming for the same status. Therefore, in order to get over this, they promised that they will give us an uh, administrative unit for our Eastern Nagaland with a different nomenclature, with the following, uh, in, uh, the, I'll just read out what he said, to provide decentralized self-governance through an effective and accountable administration set up with adequate legislature, executive, and financial authority. That means we'll have the money to, to be sent to FND, the name nomenclature which was uh, made up from the government of India was um, Frontier Naga, Nagaland Territory. That means this money for development will come to our state, our territory, and with the headquarter, we will be able to have assembly, we'll have our own executive, we'll have our own judiciary. Now, after the uh, 16th, the second, on the 2nd February 2023 in Delhi, a solution was mutually agreed with the implemented after completion of the election. That was Nagaland Assembly since it was coming. So the Home Minister came to Mall and told the delegation that they will not, they will keep full stop, comma, in the memorandum of um, settlement and go ahead and sign the agreement. Then secondly, on uh, 16th June 2023, in Delhi, the Home Ministry, were, there was a uh, committee called High Power Committee, and the uh, EMPO were called, and they were said that they will finish the draft and make the corrections in two, three days. Then on 7th December 2023, in his office chamber, that is the Home Ministers, they got the chamber in Parliament. He also called the delegation. And this is, our, this is his word. I am fully aware of your demand and it is in final stage. Then secondly, he said he had invited CM, CM of Chief, uh, Chief Minister of Nagaland and Deputy Chief Minister to Delhi on 11 December. And when they come, he will update everything and give the MOS, Memorandum of Settlement, to see 
and respond within a week. Number three, after the state governments respond, he will invite the state government, high level committee of Home Ministry and ENPO before the 25th December 2023. I'm telling this in secret so that you remember what has transpired because I'm here on behalf of the NPO to tell the public the sincere sincerity of the government of India and how the time has been taken stage by stage. Then his signing will take place within two weeks after giving draft of memorandum of settlement. Now, the next, after this meeting, Draft memorandum of settlement will be given to the ANPO and make changes if there is any. The next, before the election court of conduct, now these are the words of the Home Minister. He said, we will finalize your issue. It is my priority and firm commitment. Now, I am quoting this because this should not be taken that they have concocted. This is the very wording of the Home Minister. It is very, it is my responsibility to make your state, your state understand. That means that he, won, he took the responsibility to make the state of Nagaland, chief minister, officials, and the cabinet to understand the position. Now, on the 5th January 2024, he requested, the Home Minister requested to hand over the final draft to of MOS, Memorandum of Settlement to the ANPO, within the month of January 2024, which should be signed within one week time, the ANPO CEC, that is Central Executive Council, will have no option but to go back to the people at the grassroots and decide further course of action in the event of a failure to consider the request made. Lastly, Due to failure to consider the request, we had joint consultative meeting with tribal bodies, top team, and frontier organizations at Pensal on 5th February 2024. And this is the outcome of today's rally. So now I, you know exactly why we are here today. A peaceful rally to be conducted to remind the government of India who has given us the assurance, who has given us the draft, Mem memorandum of settlement. It is the government of India, it's the government of India who has given us. Now we are just waiting for that. And uh, the words of Home Minister said, before the morning cause of contact for the next parliamentary election, we will sign. So anytime it can happen. So we are just making our voice heard to Delhi that we want this done at the earliest before the model code of conduct. Then I will now explain to these elders who doesn't understand uh, English, I will go back and sign down. At the Ayo Mabaja, is a Eastern Nagaland law to front the Nagaland state, Chimrocho Jabaja, BJB in 2012, ตัวนี้โชว์โชว์เจ้าอาจารย์ที่ก่อนนี้สายโยธิมาจะโฮมมินิสเตอร์อยู่มาทุกท่านโฮมมินิสเตอร์อยู่มาทุกท่านโฮ
2022 law to provide this centralized self-governance through an efficient and accountable administration set up to set up with adequate legislature, executive and financial authority. Which is a your development is a non channel for is a your legislator is a using color no bad MLA is a is a Eastern Nagoda Yobajano for the officials is a administration la Rukutar Mushalam Kalamno Dago is a Yukano Allah court to create state la Puru is a Kyona is a Janu Raja Nunsholi Jan Nunsholu Hala at the ตาบลอชะลาจาตะปิตินซาวเทตุกุจานอรีเจ้าบอกว่าเดลิเกชั่นอะชิลดาโลโกอะปินอะชังกาลายอบาอยู่น่าจังอินดูรีลิสเรเปรเซนเตนต์มาเกปะมาจานุอารีลาเอ่อ